Wally, it's been a strange couple of weeks here at the club with the COVID outbreak and everything, but normality seems to be coming back into the place and uh, we're ready yeah. for a big weekend. Against yeah, Wales. normality in that we're back training and there's a game on the weekend. So, yeah, from that point of view, really happy to be out there. And I guess um, with what, whatever's happened this year, we're just happy to be playing. I was going to say, it's never nice to have any kind of COVID test in this place, but um, it's been tough for the boys, I'd imagine, those that have, have had it, those that haven't. Um, but this is where you come together, isn't it? Yeah, I think what, what we've shown from last season is we can adapt really well to all circumstances. And I think we've done that again over the past few weeks, which have been challenging. And then um, to add on top of that, we've got to play amongst uh, during the Christmas period. So um, I think you'll see a lot, of, a lot of character come from us in the, in the game on Saturday. Talk about Gloucester, as we, you just mentioned there to the radio boys. Um, they're strange outside. They always seem to raise their game. You always have tough games against them. What are you expecting this weekend? Um, I'm, ex I'm expecting... Uh, I don't know what I'm expecting. I can't, we, we kind of think when we play Gloucester, they can either be the best team um, in Europe or they can kind of be slow to the races or, you know, you don't know what to expect. All you, all you know is they've got some really good players and um, when we approach games like that, we just got to focus on ourselves. We do what we stick to the system, we play hard and um, usually that works out for us. You've had that speed bump of the, the COVID break, um, which has obviously screwed us a little bit in Europe. But in terms of this new season, you seem to have just picked up from where you left off and defensively, you're dis disciplined, you're playing very well in attack. Yeah. Boards and backs, you're scoring tries. Um, yeah. You've started well. Yeah, we have. Uh, I think that just, I don't know what it came down to. I think a few people might have been worried just we, came, we went from a huge emotional high and then we had to kind of reset two weeks and there could have been a, a real you know, flatness going into those games and it didn't. We kind of looked around and saw players come out the blocks like Sam Simmons, he looked playing like a, he had a chip on his shoulder and you've got Joe Simmons really coming into his character. Um, and yeah, we've been inspiring each other and just you know, enjoying, enjoying playing the way we do. And I think that comes down to a lot. There's been so much experience that this unit of players have um, played together for so long. We're kind of used to it and we, we know what's expected of each other each week. What do you reflect on 2020? It's been a weird year oh, in so I many just, different ways. But uh, there's been a lot of highs, there's been the odd low. Oh, there's for a, you, what's it been like? There's been a lot of lows, but a lot of highs. It's just been one of those ones where you got everything from either end of the spectrum and nothing in the middle. I kind of want a bit more of just that chill kind of in the middle. But um, it was a year that I won't forget, even if I want to, but I'll learn from it and just really enjoy the good times. I, think. I was going to say, the, the playing side, in terms of two trophies, that's been yeah. the real highlights. But yeah. Off it as well, you had to work so hard in lockdown. You had fun with us on social media, yeah. cooking classes, yeah. all sorts of things. Pretty that pancakes. kept you going that, that period, I think. You know, you boys really worked hard, but you also kept yourself as yeah. a group going, didn't you? Uh, so, I think we, we approached and tackled that period really well. We didn't just kind of sit around waiting for someone to tell us what to do. Um, we were all active and proactive in, what we, in keeping fit, keeping our minds busy, and that allowed us to not get into a bad mental state. We were physically fit and mentally motivated, and once we came back, you, you saw some of those performances um, we started with, and we just kept that momentum going. So that isolation period was really good for us. Are we going to see a frustration in some senses from not being able to play last weekend through no fault of your own? Mm. But that would have been a great game, as you said. I mean, yeah. to lose away a great start in the Champions yeah. Cup, it's, it's going to be tough. Now. Well, yeah, you would have liked to play, uh, play, play uh, from a Gloucester perspective, you would have liked to play us after, after being battered by Toulouse for 80 minutes. So effectively, we've had a week off and a week to kind of use that energy. Um, hopefully, we can, you'll see that uh, translated into a big game against Gloucester. 2021 promises to be... A yeah. different year again, a, different a big year. year. You, uh, an expectant father as well, yeah. um, congrats on that. Thank but you. what are you expecting from the new year? Um, More of the same? Uh, I don't know what to expect. I thought 2020 was going to be another standard year and it wasn't. But uh, I'm expecting a lot of happiness. I'm expecting more silverware. Um, uh, I'm just going to attack it and enjoy it and kind of use the lessons from 2020 and just uh, have fun. You talk about how ambitious this group, you've been in it now for a number of years. Mm. Is it rising each year now? You say boys have got chips on their shoulder. They want to be playing international rugby. Yeah. They want to be winning trophies. Are you seeing that now? Is there a real hunger? Yeah, there's hunger. There's, um, well, there's people have different motivations. As, uh, so when you look at the boys who should be playing in the squad, 
you've got them motivated uh, to do that, but then the players around them, teammates, want them to do that. So if you play well, you're going to make them look better. Um, we use that frustration of not seeing them playing for England um, or wh whichever country um, and kind of use that to motivate, motivate ourselves. Uh, so yeah, we'll go forward and use that, um, use that in every game. Final one from me, Gloucester, he would have done the homework this week, <laughs> whether you're in the office or yeah. away from the club, whatever. Um, they're tough, aren't they? And the threats are there. Good forward pack, speedy back line normally. Yeah, um, some really talented back three, which, are, which I'll be looking at. Um, and it's always, always a good battle against them. So we'll just focus on ourselves, kind of get stick to the system and come out of the box firing. Merry Christmas, Woody. Thank Merry you. Merry Christmas.